Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We've come out just after a storm and we're going out lobster bashing. I haven't been out foraging in probably, what, two months? We've had rubbish tides, bad weather, so I just haven't been able to get out. So this is gonna be an exciting one. We're going out with the hook. We've got the pan here with us today and we're gonna go hopefully get a load of lobsters. So stay tuned, it's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo. I thought I'd bring my traditional pan here today. Handmade. This thing's a beauty. And I've got a little towel with me as well, just to cover some lobsters, because it is quite a warm day, considering it's really windy and horrible. So, uh, just to make the lobsters last a little bit longer, I'm going to keep them in there. You beauty, just waiting for the tide to go down. We're going to be out there foraging. If When I go around this corner, it's going to be blowing its absolute head off. So, uh, I'll try and keep the camera out the wind as much as I can. I'm so excited to get out foraging again. This beach is renowned for ormers. Can't take any till January though, but nice to see the shells around. There's a lot of shells. Just leave that where I found it. And I've got a lobster hole just here. I'm waiting for the tide to go out. I came here a bit early today. Could have done with being about hour, hour after. But hey, we're down here now. We just got the waiting game and then we can go around, hopefully find the keeper lobsters. Lobster. Look at that. <laughs> First hole of the day. There's another hole down there. But that one there is a softy. As you can see, the sides are giving in. Lovely female, that would have been a keeper, that. All day long. What a shame. There you go, look. Oh, that would have been a millimetre under. There you go, little soft lobster. First hole of the day and we found one, baby. Hopefully we can get a few more. It's a good sign. <laughs> Let's go find some more. What a beautiful day to be mooching around. I'm still very high up the beach at the moment. We've still found one keeper in the first hole. I'm just mooching around the boulders as the tide goes down. Hopefully, some keepers around. Oh, where's he gone? It's just down here. A little baby lobster down here. I'm not going to bother him, he's gone now. Just a little tiny one. Look at that. I love looking at all the different sea squirts, star ascidians. So much life around here. And as always guys, I don't pick up many rocks when I'm lobster foraging, but when I do, I've got to make sure they go back. There's a nice lobster just sitting there, but I can see a claw there. I don't know if there's two lobsters in here. Grab this one. Oh my God, look at the size of that. What a buster. There's another lobster in here. Look at the size of that beauty. Oh, wow. Let's see if this one's a keeper. This is why I love coming out after storms because the lobsters are very much tucked away in the holes. They're trying to get out the way of that, that tide whipping out. Ah, there we go. There we go. Two lobsters in that hole. A little male there. That one is an absolute buster of a lobster. Just gonna check this one for gauge. But that one there, that's a keeper all day long. The uh, lobster gauge, that one's out by quite a lot, that one. Lovely prime little lobster. That hole was awesome. Plenty lobsters in it. And then check this out. Look at that for a big buster. That is a beauty. It's got barnacles all over it. That is a prime lobster that any day of the week. What a beauty. So that one's going straight in the basket. Let's get it banded. Woohoo! Hopefully. This carries on like that. That is a beauty. That's got to be two pound lobster, I reckon. You can't beat foragers like this. That is a big lobster. That is exactly what we're trying to catch. <laughs> Ooh, nearly. Let's see all the barnacles on it. This lobster is a prime lobster to eat. Absolute beast it is. Go. Get this one 
third wrap on there. And now we've got ourselves a beauty of a lobster. Look at that. That's what we want to see. A few more of these. We're good to go. It just about fits in the basket. I'll just get I'll just get my gauge guys. I want to show you how much over this lobster actually is. That's the legal size for lobster. And this one's about an inch and a half in. That is a beautiful prime lobster. And like I've always said, I don't take lobsters over three pound. So if this was over the three pound mark, I would have put it back, but because it's in the slot size that I want, that there is filling up my foraging bag. <laughs> now I'll put a blanket straight over the top. And that lobster will stay perfectly alive in the warm weather. I've just seen some big claws. <laughs> this is literally next hole along as well. And I know there's a lobster in here. Question is, how big is it? There you go. Beauty. That's a little male right there. I thought I seen some bigger claws though. These didn't look like the claws I seen. No other lobsters though. Must have been. It looked a lot bigger when it was in the water. Can we give that a check? Once again though, a lot of the lobsters here have got barnacles on. So you know they've got a solid shell, that's for sure. And that there, look at that. That's in about three millimeters, two or three mil. Another keeper down. I'm just gonna chuck him on top of the weed and we're gonna have a little root around in this hole just to just to double check. I can tell no one's been out here for a long time. Because of that weather, like you can't really forage when it's force eight gales and stuff like that, so this spot hasn't been touched and we are literally loading up like we are very high up the tide still as well we've got all of my best holes to go through so hopefully we can get a few uh a few more out of it Oop, definitely wanted me that one get one more on there for luck that's two lobsters down got one big buster in there now we got this little one. Well, I say it's little, but that's that's a keeper lobster. Just shows how big that one really is. Lovely job. We are on an absolute roll today. Let's see how many we can get. I am over the moon with the start of this forage. Got about a two pound lobster, about a pound lobster. Two keepers are ready and we've just started. Come on, we're on a roll, baby. Come on. How I'm catching these lobsters, guys. It's like this, you've got the tide running out very quickly. Then you've got loads of boulder beds and it's in gravel. So what the lobsters do, instead of out trying to outrun the tide, they start digging into the side of these boulders. And that's how you find them. They're on the escape instead of actually having a home there, you know? There's a lobster there, look. Oh, missed him, missed his tail. Where is he? See what there. There we go. <laughs> little mini one there, little mini male. And what you gotta do is here, these are called swimmerettes. And what the two top ones, if they're hard like this, it's a male. If they're soft and flimsy, and also with a wider tail, it's a female. So I'll just chuck that over there, see if there's any more. See a lobster here, look. Oh, Miss Tim, Miss Tim, he's back in the hole. <laughs> he nearly had my hand then. Well, I lost that lobster. <laughs> I don't think it would have been a keeper. It might be slightly under that one. But I'll check under a few of these rocks here and then uh, we'll make our way to the deeper grounds. Check that for a lobster, guys. I've just pulled it out of this rock here. As you can see on the side there, it's squishy. That there, if that was solid, that'd be close to a three pounder. Look how wide that is. Absolute buster of a lobster. Woo! We need some more like this, that's for sure. So I'm about to go take it down here and release it. And we're on to the deeper grounds. I'm still in the shallow spots at the moment. But that is a massive lobster. These are some of the biggest lobsters I've foraged in a long time. Look at the size of that. 
absolute beast. It's what we want to see, more like this. Right, that big beast can go back. And all we got to do now is go find some more, baby. Fair to say, I'm glad I came out today. <laughs> got two keepers in the, uh, in the pan here. We released a really big female. That other female is bigger than the last one. And we still got about 30 holes to check yet. Woo! Really enjoying this forage. Come on, monster. There we go. Another one down. Another little male. A little bit bigger than the last one, that. Nice to see. Check this little beauty out, guys. I don't know if it's a keeper, but that there is the definition of a lobster hole. You see how it's all mounded out, and just in here, with a little bit of stuff over his head, there's a lobster. There we go. That was the perfect representation of a lobster hole. That, another little male, but that's definitely not a keeper. There you go, goes to sit in his little water hole there because that's what they do, they dig it all out, same as boulders as well with sand around them, they will dig the bottom out like this so there's a nice little channel of water for them and another one bites the dust, another little male it's a little softy that one you can tell he's just shed his shell, he's really bright coloured there's no beast in there though what a seriously enjoyable day found some beautiful sized lobsters and lots of small ones uh, it just shows after a storm, it really does. It pushes them right into those holes, you know. It's nice to see such a variety. We've found giant females, we've found keeper males, loads of little females and males. So it just shows the population over here is great. Really good to see for the future, that's for sure. There's a lobster here, guys. Ah, got him. Hey, hey. Well, check that one out. It's quite a soft lobster and it's got a deformity on it. Look at that. Its gills are almost coming out. You can see where it started to grow back where this one's shed. It's soft, so it's definitely shed. Yeah. Very interesting. Definitely a keeper. We're on the right track. Come on. And another one bites the dust. Look how pale that one is underneath. Solid little lobster, but very pale. I love it. Nothing better than finding a ton of lobsters like this. Today is definitely a lucky day. That's one of the smallest ones we found. But I'll keep finding these all day long. I've got my keepers, so now I'm just having fun mooching around. So my battery decided to die. And look under there. I've got another big buster, baby. Hey, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. <laughs> but here you go. We've got two really nice ones in there. And then one, one keeper male. That is ideal. There's a lot of soft lobsters around as well because I found another keeper and it was dead soft. But that one there is another beauty. We got two lobsters about two pound and one about a pound. Beautiful session. I can't believe how many lobsters are around today. This is one of the best sessions I've had in a long time. It was definitely worth the wait. Another lobster. <laughs> Finding a lot of these little males. A hell of a lot of them. He's right in the crack of that rock there, look. Alright, roll on you beauties. This is a scallops nightmare right here. And this is called the spiny starfish. This is a very pretty one at that, look at that. Lovely greens, purples, all different colours. And these will literally go up to any sort of bivalve, open it up and then eat it. This lobster's avoided us guys. Dan's just come over to give me a hand and he's gone. There's a really nice lobster somewhere around there that he could have escaped or he's wedged right at the back of that somewhere that we can't get to, so that's a shame. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe next time. There you go guys, it's Dan's lobster. Another buster, eh? They're like really big females as well, eh? Beauty, no eggs. Yeah, no eggs. Solid as well, look at that. Yeah. That's nice. But they're, they're the same, about the same size as the two I've had as well. Look, look at those, Bob. Yeah. yeah, about the same That's size. It, yeah. That's nice, eh? 
I've got a little male in there. Nice feed, mate. Happy days, eh? Lobster thermidor, here we come. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Check that out, guys. Got our three lobsters, got the other one there. Then we got a little keeper male. It's funny, eh? You catch a, uh, like a keeper that's like two mil in, and then you catch <laughs> those, eh? It feels like it's small, eh? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you double check it with the gates. Yeah. You? you can see this tide here, guys. This is why we never overstay our welcome. Look how fast this is coming in. This is spring tides in Guernsey. They go up to uh, 33 foot in height, these tides, so it comes in ridiculously fast. And it's only just started. This will be twice as quick in a few minutes. So we are leaving. What a forage this turned out to be, guys. I am over the moon with that. We've got two absolute monsters. And then we've got one little male there. That is brilliant. And we returned a lot as well. We probably returned about four keepers today, including a giant female that was bigger than these two. So that is brilliant. Oh, so chuffed to get out finally. And to get a good forage, it's just a bonus. We are back in the kitchen, guys. I've already peeled the lobster. Look at the size of the meat in there. Bit of juice at the bottom. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is make a quick lobster roll today. This juicy bit of lobster. Nice and fresh before I go fishing. what I'm doing guys, I'm just cutting nice thin chunks of lobster off, just like so. You see that beautiful white flesh there, that's what you want. In here, you can see where this lobster, because it was a female, this is the eggs, this is where she would have produced them, she, she's obviously laid them in the past, and these are the ones that are in the body. I thought it would be interesting to show you. You can peel this top bit back, and what it does is expose them. They look sort of green sometimes, but that there is they carry this all the time. There's eggs inside of them, and then they put them underneath the swimmerettes, incubate them, and then they lay them. It's the early stages, that is. I've had questions in the past about why do I toast my bun. It's because what it does is it stops the sweet chilli sauce or whatever sauce you're putting on from making the bread go really soggy. We're going in with some sweet chilli sauce. As always, oh yeah, nice glug of sweet chilli sauce on there. We just pile our lobster straight on top. Look at that. Let's get a claw on the side and a big chunk in the middle. I wanted something really easy on this one because I am out soon, so you can't go wrong with a fresh lobster roll. A little bit of sweet chilli sauce on top and that there is ready to be devoured. That looks absolutely delicious. This looks absolutely amazing. I say this every time I make a lobster roll. I don't want to be repetitive on the videos, but you guys like a catch and cook, and uh, I like lobster rolls. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm gonna do sometime, I've got my paella dish up here. I'm gonna make a paella, um, maybe on the next Foraging Tides, because these ones are over. I really want to start trying to venture in my cooking and stuff like that. So yeah, a little bit of a change would be nice. Look at that. Big old chunk of lobster in there. Mmm. It's lovely to see so many lobsters around as well. This is one of the, the best forages I've had on the channel. Where there were so many big lobsters. Admittedly, I probably found about five soft ones, but it's so good to see that first big female that I had that was soft. That was huge. I don't know if it showed up well on camera because I find the GoPros, like, if you, if you, because the GoPros are magnified, it makes things either look small, tiny at a distance and really big at close up. So you've got to try and find that medium. I find people, there is a lot of people that make a comment where they're like, the lobster's too small even though we're, we're, we're measuring them on camera. It's because it's just the GoPro, the magnifying of it. I thought I'd mention that because a lot of people seem to get that mistaken. Where like, even waves look smaller on camera than they do actually in person. Lobster rolls never get old. So I'll leave the video there guys. I'm not going to jabber on too much longer. Smash this outside the door. I'm gonna give him a nice chunk of lobster in a minute, that bit with all the eggs on, because it doesn't look good to me, even though it probably will taste good. So stay tuned for the next episode. 
If you enjoyed the uh, channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, if you want any merch, the link's in the description. I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully we can catch some fish and do some really cool cook-ups with that. This smash fishing, baby. Woo! Mmm. Look at that. Lovely bit of lobster there. It's got a bit of shell on it. Hey, good bud. Oh, a nice chunk of lobster. Yeah, that's the best, that bit. <laughs>